All right, welcome back to the Birmingham View. We're joined by Adam. We are looking ahead to Adam's trip to Millwall this weekend with all the Blues fans. How are you, Adam? All good. Nervous, but all good. Yeah, I'm also going to talk about why I don't <clears> think <throat> Birmingham have got anything to worry about. And we're going to get Adam's uh, choice of February player of the month. And it's not anyone that you would have suspected. So first of all, let's go back and look at the Southampton game. Ah, oh, crikey, we haven't got time to review all of this. Um, the Blues did really well, didn't they? For parts, for parts, yeah. I mean, at two one, yeah. Well, for the first ten minutes, we we were hammering them. We could have been two, three, and nil up. And you just know their quality in the squad and the money they've spent was going to eventually come through. Um, but then, yeah, we we went two one up completely against the run of play. Southampton were cruising, and then you think, go on, then just hold on, and then the ref goes and sends the centre back off, which was it's ridiculous if that's a red card and. Um, yeah, it was an uphill battle then. I know we got back to 3-3, three, three, but, you know, the players they were bringing on and stuff, it was, yeah, we, it was just a sickness to concede in the 96th minute, but it, it was coming. Yeah. Um, definitely not a red card for you then? Oh, mate, if that's a red card, the game's gone, mate, it's living it. That is ridiculous. You can't have that as a red card. You might as well all start watching netball or something. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't surprise you that our Southampton fan earlier had a very different view of it, of, of, of sure. Um, all right then, so I'm, I'm just going to go through some some stats on, on Birmingham. Here's why I don't think you've got anything to, to worry about. So that there's you need 12 points from 12 games to, to get to 50, I think. Um, there's 12, six left to play at home, six left to play away. And the away games, as I think we spoke about last week, um, four of them are against sides in the bottom seven. So your away trips, if you're playing like you are at the moment, you're going to pick up points there, aren't you? Um, you've only lost four home games. Three of them were under Wayne Rooney. And of course, three of them were to sides um, in, the, in the top six. So as much as Birmingham season looks like um, it's going to peter out in any relegation, I can't personally see it happening. Um, but you watch them every week. You travel the country as mad as you are with your family watching this, uh, watching this side, um, I, I'm looking at it on paper. Are you more worried than I am? Yeah, oh. yeah. Listen, at the, it's just been so happen that Blues have lost two on the trot, and then virtually everyone below us has won two on the trot. But you have to remember the bottom teams ain't going to win. No, keep winning. There's a reason why we're all down there because we don't win that many games. So I'm just hoping now they've won their couple of games they're going to drop off for a couple of weeks we can start picking up a couple of points bridge the gap and then we can finish the last couple of games of the season in holiday mode yeah you're, I mean, you're only three wins aren't you three wins and you're safe I mean four will do it but four would yeah four would definitely do it I, I think three personally I think three and maybe a draw or two um, but I just it, I, I'm worried because if someone like Stansfield gets injured well, I, f- I feel like we're screwed. Like, we ain't got no goals in us at all. We're struggling. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Let's just. I- I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say too much because I've got a feeling it could just bite us in the arse. Okay. Um, you mean you heavily rely on Stansfield, don't you? If he was to get injured, then you rely on Hogan, aren't you? And, and others. And you've. I know your feelings on that. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, listen, I've been saying it all season. If that. If. That kid Stansfield gets injured, we're we're done, we're gone, we're bottom for it. It's that simple. Um, he has he he looks like he can score given half a chance, and he's the only one in the team that looks like that. So yeah, there's there's not enough goals coming from elsewhere. Um, especially when you're in a relegation battle. Um, you need more than just one player to rely on. Uh, and, and on top of that, Blues seem to have the habit of just turning up at places where they're, they're just getting going again. Teams that had had, had poor form uh, that suddenly find it just as Blues rock up. And that's um, certainly true of your opponents this weekend in, in Millwall. Um, what do you make of them? Um, yeah, I don't think they're that great. I think they've picked up, I think they've just done that typical new manager bounce where they get a reaction for two or three games and I think they'll drop back off so let's hope we can be the team that can knock them back off their stall that they're on at the minute um, but yeah it's Millwall at the end of the day Blues Millwall has always been a feisty game yeah. anything can happen um, the atmosphere will be tense 
um, especially now considering where the both teams are in the league. So it's probably set up to be a, a good fighting game. I can't see it being a high scoring game, but uh, there'll definitely be a few yellow cards, I'd imagine. Okay. All right, let's get a score, score prediction from you then, and then gives you February uh, Player of the Month. Score first. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna throw my neck out there, and I'm gonna say two nil Blues. Okay, nice one. And then um, I think I can probably guess this one, but February Player of the Month. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go with Ethan Laird. Oh, okay. What's that? Right. Mm, actually, I just feel like he's the one every single week. That's a solid performance for us. He never ever lets us down. Um, but there's there's a couple of players that are still putting in a few good performances. But for me, you just know what you're getting with him. And uh, we've played him left back, we've played him right back, and every time he's he's putting a good shift. So yeah, I'd give I'd give it lead. Right. Well, if you're a Blues fan and disagree with that, um, put it in the comments below. And if you're a Blues fan that hasn't yet subscribed, we've been a lot on a long journey on this channel throughout this season. I'm as worn out as Adam is, and I haven't watched as many Blue Mirror games as he has. We've been through the Rooney saga, the Eustace saga, and now we're on a fourth manager, fourth manager of the season in uh, in Venus. It's um, it's madness, um, madness. But we're nearly there. We can you can have a long summer out. I remember you got a long summer holiday book somewhere nice. Oh no, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny life golf golf course somewhere. Right. Yeah. Um, cheers for joining us. We'll catch you uh, catch you next week. Hopefully uh, with a, a bit more uh, a bit more uh, safety blanket between you and the bottom three. Cheers, Adam. Fingers crossed. Cheers, mate. All the best. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye.